now just want to show you a little bit complex workflow and how blackbox.ai performance measures versus chat gpt 40 and Cloud Sonnet 3.5. Now, these are the three schemes. On the left, I have uh, blackbox.ai. In the middle, ChatGPT4, Omni, Omni or Omni, whatever. And on the rightmost, it's a Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And this is my original prompt. Basically, the job here to compare two models, MetaLama 3 8B Chat and Microsoft Fi 2, in terms of time to completion, when I'm fetching them from together API endpoints. So this is exactly the prompt, exact prompt I have given to all the three models. And so give me the code to run test on the together.ai API with MetaLama 3 8B chat, the Microsoft Fi 2. I want you to measure 20 requests at five requests per second rate with output context of 16. What is each model's time to completion average, median and percentiles distribution? And uh, I'm also giving the entire actual working and valid together AI API key. Now, all three of them are giving me the code that is actually running, that is actually executable because I have tested them, all three of them. But now my whole purpose is to uh, compare the, the overall functionality and overall advantages and disadvantages. First, the most important thing, uh, get the result from black box. API, sorry, blackbox.ai. So they are giving the various sources right here. So some of them, the model name, etc., they have taken from Hugging Face original model card for together AI API endpoint and related API codes that is using Python. They have taken from together AI documentation. That's what is giving. And also they have taken something from MetaLama 3. So all this code that blackbox.ai has given, that can be actually checked just in case that if some of these are hallucination or not, you can always go back and check it, each part of them. And that's extremely important when you are writing code in an enterprise setup. And but of course, so with the ChatGPT4 and the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, there is no mention of source. There is no way for you to actually check that whether they are giving all these things that they are using, whether they are coming from real, uh, real documentation. You pretty much the way that you will have to do is that manually you have to Google search and go to together API documentation and check that these endpoints actually exist. So that's one big advantage of the code that you receive from blackbox.ai otherwise in terms of the actual code content i had a look at them so one particular difference that i saw that blackbox.ai is using the statistics library instead of numpy to calculate all these statistical metric here that is i want the quantiles i want median mode etc and ChatGPT4 instead are using, uh, they are using NumPy directly. So NumPy is definitely a great library, of course, as you know, but the problem is NumPy is slightly heavier. Statistics is slightly lighter. Uh, Sonnet 3.5 Sonnet as well is using statistics library to calculate all those metric. And now the big thing, which is actually seeing whether the code executes within your respective browser. So yeah, I told GPT-4 Omni to execute this code and it started first analyzing, but within probably 30 seconds or so, there was an error and it stopped in between and they gave me this error that it appears that there is a network related issue preventing the code from reaching together.ai API endpoints. The issue typically arises due to DNS resolution failures or connectivity problems. I actually tried a couple of times and both the times I got similar kind of errors with GPT-4.0. And I gave the, I told the same thing as well to Sonnet 3.5 to execute the code. Uh, this is my prompt, execute this code. And it immediately said, I apologize, but I cannot execute this code or make any API calls as an AI language model. I don't have the ability to run code or interact with external services. Now, um, yeah, so that's a the problem. They uh, cannot execute it. But now coming back to blackbox.ai, I told the same thing to it to execute it. That is, there is an icon in blackbox.ai, right one, this one. If you just click on it, it will actually start executing the code and actually hit the external API 
of together and give you the live result and exactly that's what it did so this is the final output after executing the code so that's a great advantage when you are specifically building something which requires you to go to third party api endpoint and get result and you are experimenting multiple apis and you just don't want to go back and forth between your ide etc to compare your code this is great advantage of blackbox.ai you can directly execute the code within it and see the result